Hello everyone, this is Douglas E. Welch and welcome back to another episode of In the Garden for a Gardener's Notebook. For more information, visit the website douglasewelch.com. There you'll find links to a Gardener's Notebook as well as everything else that I do. Well, as you can see here, I spent today, this afternoon, actually getting our final bulbs, our final fall bulbs, into the ground. These were the leucogen bulbs, what they call snowdrops on the packaging, but are really snowflakes, I believe is their proper common name. Like many places, we are unseasonably warm this November. It was 83 degrees today out in the garden. We had a week of cold or cooler weather a couple weeks ago, but it, Santa Ana winds drove up the temperatures into the mid-90s last week. This is a little bit better, but still much warmer than we want it to be in November. We're actually looking to start receiving our winter rains, and that's what's going to kick off these bulbs that I'm putting in the ground today. So, fingers are crossed. As with most bulbs, you're supposed to plant these leucogem about twice their height in depth in the ground. So I got out my favorite shovel and just kicked in a little trench, set the shovel up on edge, pushed the bulbs in against the lowest part of the shovel and simply let the soil cover over them and tap them in with my foot. I don't have a bulb planter, so this is the easiest way to do it. In some of the areas of the garden where the soil is much more difficult to dig in, like adjacent to a path or such, it can take quite a bit of effort to get the bulbs in. In past years, when I planted 75 to 100 different daffodil bulbs in the garden, I have contemplated getting one of those little auger attachments for my power drill. Haven't done it yet, but maybe in the coming years. I like to add quite a few bulbs every year, just to keep everything as pretty as it can be in the fall, winter, and early spring here in Los Angeles. So that's it for bulb planting this year in my garden, or at least I think it is. If I see something on sale and the rains haven't occurred yet, I might still pick them up and try to get them in before they come. For more information, you can always visit the website, douglasewelch.com. There you'll find links to a gardener's notebook as well as everything else that I do. Until next time, keep on planting bulbs in your garden, keep on preparing for fall and spring, and keep on digging. If you enjoyed this video, here's another video you might enjoy. You can also use the buttons to subscribe or visit the website. Just click. Thank you.